Wire drawing, extrusion, forging, and rolling are hot working processes. At present slides, we will become familiar to hot working processes. We will compare hot working via cold working. We will become familiar to rolling, forging, extrusion, and metal drawing. Mechanical working processes, which are done above recrystallization temperature of the metal, are known as hot working processes. Some metals, like tin, have a low recrystallization temperature and can be hot worked even at room temperature but most commercial metals require some heating in hot working the temperature of completion of metal working is important if the hot working is completed just above the recrystallization temperature then the resultant grain size would be fine now we want to compare hot working to cold working. Hot working. Deformation is carried out at a temperature high enough for fast recrystallization to occur. At cold working, plastic deformation of metals below the recrystallization temperature is known as cold working. It is generally performed at room temperature. Hot working disadvantages. Heat energy is needed. Poor surface finish of metal due to scaling of surface. Poor accuracy and dimensional control of parts. Poor reproducibility and interchangeability of parts. Handling and maintaining of hot metal is difficult and troublesome. Lower life of tooling and equipment. Cold working disadvantages. Higher forces are required for deformation. Heavier and more powerful equipment is required. Less ductility is available. Metal surfaces must be clean and scale free. Strain hardening occurs. Undesirable residual stresses may be produced. Metal deformation carried out at temperatures intermediate to hot and cold forming is called warm forming. Warm working advantages, lesser loads on tooling, greater metal ductility, fewer number of annealing operation. Warm working disadvantages, lesser amount of heat energy requirement, better precision of components, lesser scaling on parts, lesser decarburization of parts, better dimensional controls, better surface finish, lesser thermal shock on tooling, lesser thermal fatigue to tooling. Effect of hot working and mechanical properties of metals. Hot working process is generally performed on a metal held at such a temperature that the metal does not work harder. Rising the metal temperature lowers the stresses required to produce deformations and increases the possible amount of deformation before excessive work hardening takes place. Hot working is preferred where large deformations have to be performed that do not have the primary purpose of causing work hardening. Hot working produces the same net result on a metal as a cold working and annealing. In hot working processes, compositional irregularities are ironed out and non-metallic impurities are broken up into small relatively harmless fragments which are uniformly dispersed throughout the metal instead of being concentrated in a large stress raising metal working masses. Hot working such as a rolling process refines grain structure. Surface finish of hot worked metal is not nearly as good as with the cold working because of oxidation and scaling. One has to be very careful as regards the temperatures at which to start hot work and at which to stop because this affects the properties to be introduced in a hot worked metal. Too 
high temperature may cause phase change and overheat the steel, whereas too low temperature may result in excessive work hardening. Wire drying, extrusion, forging, and rolling are hot working processes.